Hello everyone and welcome to prompt number 126. Here we go, let's just get into it. I don't have a joke, I don't have a rhyme. Let's just draw. We have two prompts, something big next to something small. Uh, okay. And taxi. Ooh, ooh, okay. All right, okay. Here we go, let's get to drawing. All right, y'all know the drill. I start off by sketching each prompt just to get the basics out of my system and to get familiar with each object or concept or whatever it may be. You've got a taxi, you've got all the cliches for big and small. We have a big cat, a small cat, a big dude, a little dude, a big building, a little building, and then I started to get into brainstorming ideas. So obviously, when you think taxi, you think the city because that's where taxis are. Taxis are in the city. And when you think city, you think big monster attacking the city. So it's very cliche, but I just really got into the idea of drawing this little cluster of buildings. And honestly, looking at these sketches, I kind of wish I went in a different direction, but you know, what can you do? Anyways, so I continued to sketch some basic ideas. Ideas were not flowing today, so I decided to just stop and leave that extra room in case I needed some sketching later. And then I got into it. So what I just thought about that I should have done was doing three or so mini illustrations of this little cluster of buildings like a city, but have them as a different style of city, like a modern city, a futuristic city, and I don't know, an underwater city. Ooh, or a city in the sky. Could have done four. So each city would have its own unique monster to the environment attacking it. And gosh dang, I wish I did that now. Life goes on and I didn't. Though I have been wanting to start a series of videos where I go back to past prompts where I had major regrets and redrawing them in a way that I would be much happier with. So if that's something that you guys would be interested in, here's a poll. This would definitely be a good candidate drawing for that because things didn't go as I would have loved, but I don't hate it. So you may or may not have seen that I did indeed sketch a little ant next to a bee because I couldn't help but think, what if I had a city full of ants and there was an ant eater trying to eat them? I haven't drawn an ant eater in the ant illustrations yet. I thought that would be really cute instead of a monster. It was an ant eater. But as you guys know, I do have a ban on ant illustrations, regretfully, question mark. I'm really not sure how I feel about it. It's like I could make a really bad drawing that I don't like, or I could make an ant illustration that I do like. I guess I could undo the bane on ants if it's like a backup illustration, as long as I really did try to make something new. I don't know. The reason why I am so conflicted about it in this situation is because this illustration is basically an ant illustration, but with cats. I drew a bunch of small little cats in a city with some small details. And basically if I replaced those cats with ants, it would have been just another ant illustration. So about midway through this illustration, when I, when I realized what I did, I think I just started to get kind of bummed that I didn't actually, I think basically I got myself kind of bummed out that I pretty much did the idea I wanted to do, but I banned myself from doing. So I turned it into something else that my heart wasn't super into. So it's, I don't know. I'm not upset. I'm not mad about it. Just because I'm not 100% happy with an illustration doesn't mean, I don't know. I think as an artist, I just get really disappointed in myself that I'm not pushing myself hard enough or trying hard enough. And I just get disappointed with myself when I don't create something I like. If you're watching this video, you're probably also creative in some way. So I'm sure you probably have similar feelings about your creativity. Being an artist is a struggle. But it's worth it, right? Sometimes. So this is how I feel about this illustration. I think it's cute. I just think that because my heart wasn't all in it and I started to have some regrets about what I did, I think I just kind of gave up, which is so poopy. That's like the worst thing you can do is to give up and just stop trying to try. So shame on me, basically. 
I feel like there were so many extra little details looking back at it that I wish I added and I wish that I thought of while I was doing it, but I think I was just trying to get it done because I wasn't super into it. And then it just turned into this meh illustration, which is so sad because I feel like I'm letting myself down and you guys down while not doing my best. I don't know, it's very confusing. Art is very complicated and subjective. I know I'm going to get a lot of comments that you guys really like this illustration, and I'm glad. I'm glad that some of you do like it, but personally, I know I can do better, so that's where artists get their, their disappointment from, I, I guess. <laughs> this got a little too deep. It's fine. So like I said, kind of wish I ended up making this an ant illustration. It would have been cute to make that an ant eater. My favorite ant illustration, or second favorite, it's a city scene. The vase and ladder prompt. It's my favorite one. So I guess maybe it's good that I don't have another street view ant illustration. Is it for the best, I wonder? You know what? Here's a poll. Here's a ding dang poll. Do you guys think that I should have sucked it up into an ant illustration or do you think I did the better thing and I did a cat, a cat illustration? I do think overall it's pretty cute. I just feel like that I didn't push myself hard enough to add more details. I think it's just lacking and a little too simple. Little tiny illustrations like this, I think it's really fun to cram a bunch of small little details in there. And I feel like because my heart wasn't in it, as I said, I dropped the ball and didn't add as many details as I could. It's still cute. It's still, it's still got something going for it. I really enjoyed putting all of the windows and the bricks and details onto the buildings. So that was a lot of fun. It's one of those very simple yet really effective things you can do to add busyness to an illustration, but all you're doing is putting some dots on some squares. And it looks really busy, but really, it's super simple. As you can see, when I put all of the windows on there, it goes from this really simple rectangle building city, and then it just looks so much more full with all the little squares and windows. It's really interesting, and I love that. I love doing that especially the bricks on the building on the left in the front, which I am now looking at thinking I could have put like graffiti. I mean, I could still do it behind the scenes, but I should have put some graffiti on some of these buildings. Like I just feel like my mind wasn't, or my heart wasn't fully into this illustration. So I didn't have my brainstorming attitude. I don't know. I really enjoyed adding cat-shaped things to the few objects that I did add cat-shaped things to. The taxi cab has cat-shaped lights and also ears on the top. The building at the front has ears. I really especially like the satellite. The satellite is cat-shaped with a, with a nose or something. Who knows? Oh, wait, hold up. Who knows? Ha, <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. And of course we have Kitty Mart. It's like Quickie Mart, but Kitty Mart, cause, cause cats. And I also didn't even think about a story for this illustration, which is so strange. Usually I am all about thinking of stories and what's happening here. But to be honest, I didn't even think about it for a second. I just, I just said there's a, there's a demon dog in there and that's what's up. And that's, that's the story. So I don't even have a story. What the heck's going on? So there you go. There's our cat city with our giant demon dog. It's something, as I say. All right, enough of that. Let's go to the end card to see your prompts from last week. Last week's prompts were desk, jump rope, laughing, and wooden shield. Our first featured artist is Pandazi. Pandazuzi? who created this really cute RPG scene in a pixel art style. I love that. You don't see a lot of pixel art these days. And there's even dialogue, which I loved about this. So thank you so much for joining. I enjoyed it. And our next featured artist is Dark Saber, who created this really cute scene with this girl laughing in her playroom. There are just so many fun little details in here. A hidden little Dennis. And of course, all of the prompts. And the girl is really cute. I love her. Also, that perspective, nice. And that's it. I can't wait to see what you guys do for Taxi and something big next to something small. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.